Hi there, my name is Sherry Evans. I'm the Chief Financial Officer at Goodwill Northern New England, and I'm also a CPA. First off, I'd like to thank you for donating to Goodwill. You may not realize it, but you may be able to deduct the items you donate on your tax return and save on your tax liability. When you donate at Goodwill, you scan the QR code and it will immediately email you a receipt. Or you may have a paper receipt, in which case you just fill out the date in your name and there's a place for the value of the items that you've donated. To find the value, you can just look on the back of the form or you can go to our website, goodwillnne.org. Now, when you file your tax return, you would want to itemize deductions instead of taking the standard deduction. Itemizing deductions is usually most advantageous for folks who own a home and can deduct mortgage interest taxes or people with high out-of-pocket medical costs or those who make large amounts of donations to charities. So when you file your 1040 form, in order to itemize, you'd want to select the itemized deduction instead of the standard deduction. And then on Schedule A, you would list the expenses you had related to your home, mortgage interest, taxes. You can also deduct your medical expenses and both cash and non-cash items, such as the items you donated on this form. If you donate over $500 worth of items to Goodwill, you would then need to complete Form 8283, which just asks for a little more information about those items. If you need help filing your tax return, you can go to the IRS website and they can provide a list of free tax help in your area. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. And again, thank you for your donations.